some things for work. Pina is off to school and Jazz is at work. It's like 8.13 a.m. So I'm not exactly making eye contact. Like I said, I am doing a few things for work. Trying to, you know, keep on task as far as work goes. We don't exactly have like set, you know, work hours because I am, you know, a remote worker. And, you know, as far as the job that I do, we are um, considered independent uh, contractors. So, um, you know, obviously that would change if I got the job that I was talking about um, yesterday, but um, I really hope that I get that job. I was watching a Periscope earlier and it was talking about like your dreams and going for your dreams and it was super super motivating and um, <coughs> I just really I loved everything that she had to say she was talking about like not giving up on your dreams and like just you know um, <coughs> the dreams that God puts in front of you and it was just like she was super motivational and, you know, she was talking about accountability and just a whole lot of stuff. And then she got cut off because she had a client actually walk into her office, so she had to go. Um, I wish she would have been able to stay on longer, but, I mean, hey, it happens. But, good morning. It is Wednesday. Let me send that proposal over really quick. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm actually mentoring stuff right now. Oh my god. Ugh, my eyes are burning again. Um, <laughs> I was hearing things this morning. Like, um, have you ever been, like, asleep and you think you hear your alarm clock going off? <laughs> or, like, your alarm? I don't have, <coughs> I don't have an alarm clock. Like, I set the alarm on my phone, and I swear, I thought I heard it going off, like, four times, and it, it actually wasn't. Like, it was only going off once, but I thought I heard it go off, like, four times. And, yeah, it went off once, but, uh, I thought I turned it off, like, four times, and I only turned it off once. I don't know what was going on with me, but, um, I'm gonna get back to doing this work, and then I'm gonna go take a shower when it slows down a little bit. And I'll check in with you guys guys later. <coughs> so, I had a wig on earlier, but anyways. UPS dropped off a package at the door. Ugh. Still smells like smoke down here. Amazon. Oof cold out here. Make sure I don't show y'all my address. Which is nothing else out here. Whew. God. Open it up and see what I got. took my shower and everything and I went downstairs got something to eat for me and Galileo well we had some like cans of tuna that had just gone past the expiration date or whatever so I opened up a can of tuna fish for him put it in his dish and I got myself a can of unsweetened applesauce and it kind of reminded me of when I was hospitalized for my eating disorder because um like, as I poured it into this little bowl of peanuts, like, it still kind of overwhelmed me because, like, I feel like it's too much food for me to eat. Um, that's the way that my seizure medicine has me feeling today. Um, and even yesterday, I ate one slice of pizza 
from Aldi's and normally I'll eat two. I ate one slice of pizza and I felt like I ate way too much. Um, like honestly I feel like if I could feel like this every day it would be awesome because then maybe I wouldn't be as big as a whale. Um, that was really rude to myself but um, yeah. I just really am sick and tired of being overweight and I'm sick and tired of people basically talking shit about me all the time you know I'm just sick and tired of being fat and anyways um, I got my 32 ounce bottle of water I'm gonna hopefully drink a few of these today because I'm trying to drink more water I feel like a lot of the reason why I've been tired so much lately is because I haven't been drinking enough water and I have the little liquid water enhancer this is the berry pomegranate flavor so I'm gonna add a little bit of flavor to my water because I like um, I like adding some flavor I don't always just like drinking the plain water and this has uh, zero calories it also has um, zero grams of fat zero um, sodium zero carbs zero sugars and zero pretty much um, zero carbs, zero sugars, zero proteins, 10% of vitamin B6, 10% of vitamin B12, and I think that's pretty much it from what I can tell. My eyes are kind of still bugging out. But anyways, um, I got an email from United Health Group from a recruiter there so I sent over information to them still haven't heard back about the job that I applied for yesterday through the job that I already work for so I don't know they're saying that the position positions that they're hiring for are currently open with immediate needs to be filled so hopefully I hear something I was supposed to be in this little web chat meeting talking about like faith like as far as like religion and spirituality and stuff like that and the it was kind of like the connection between faith and domestic violence and you know how domestic violence affects the uh, religious community and the prevalence of domestic violence in the religious community and things like that and I was supposed to actually be helping the speaker but it got cancelled at the last minutes um, so I didn't go to that um, I believe they still had like people having a discussion in the in the chat but I didn't go um, <clears throat> because they said they didn't need me in there anymore so I didn't do that and now I'm just going to sit here and wait for Peanuts bus which should be coming shortly and hopefully it's not a debacle like it was yesterday because they let her off at the wrong spot again and she it was like 25 minutes of pure hell for anyone who is a parent because she basically I had every child in this whole little housing community looking for her including kids that weren't even that don't even ride her bus like the kids that ride her bus are kindergarten through fourth graders and then there's two separate buses that drop off um, middle schoolers um, and high schoolers and all of the kids off of those two buses were also looking for her um, so I definitely think that's an issue. I'm not sure if Jazz actually made a complaint about that or not yet. Um, but yeah, so ugh, just a big mess. But anyways, um, that's what I'm doing. I'm about to text my mom because I was going to ask her something, but I can't remember what it is at, right at this very moment. And yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something. I also have to do homework. I have to do this presentation on Egypt in my international business class because I chose Egypt to do my final project on for that class. You have to choose a country 
and then um, talk about that country and like what its major trade economies are and things like that um, as far as like what um, what they get most of their money from and all of that good stuff. Um, and that's about it. And then I have to do like all of my homework for my other class as far as like a quiz and discussion board post and reading assignment and a project in my other class, my human resource management class. And still waiting to hear back from both of the jobs that I applied for, United Health Group and my other job. I didn't even remember to take my pills this morning, I don't think. So I'm gonna take them now. One thing I did notice today though was that you know, for not taking my pills, I didn't feel like any numbness like I do um, throughout the day and everything. Like, as far as like being confused and stuff, I didn't feel that like I do throughout the day when I normally take my senior meds and stuff. I didn't feel all that confusion and crap that I normally feel. And like, my face wasn't numb. Like. When I say my face is numb, like, from here to about here, my lips, um, my nose, and usually, like, right around here will be numb. Sometimes out here will be numb, too, but not always. But, yeah. I, don't, I really don't think I took it. I only take the breathing pill at night and she only has me taking the breathing pill because she says it's supposed to make it so that I don't have asthma attacks so that is that was her purpose of giving me that medication that's what she said so, um, I don't know, I'm also having like really bad back pains and um, <clears throat> right now, like for the last few days to about a week now, I have been craving like big time, I've been craving nachos and um, I also really want, but I don't know where I can get it from, I really want like black cherry ice cream. I really, really want some good black cherry ice cream. And I want like some, I don't want like the cheap like gas station type nachos. I want like authentic Mexican nachos. Like I'm not the type of person who normally likes like super spicy food. Um, <laughs> like, because I get like super bad heartburn and like indigestion and stuff because yeah. But, um, I would even take, like, authentic Mexican or Hispanic type of nachos that had jalapenos on it if it meant that I could eat authentic Hispanic nachos right now. You guys, how bad I am craving authentic Hispanic nachos. Oh my god. You have no idea. But yeah, it's just been kind of a chill night. Um, Jazz and I shrink-wrapped the window earlier um i ordered this little kit this window kit we did the window in the hallway so then um if you've never seen one of these it's so that the air doesn't come through the window and it's supposed to help save on like energy costs for heating and stuff and so you um you basically like tape the the plastic wrap to the window and then um like 
you take the plastic, you put it on the window, and then, um, like, you have the tape already on the frame, and then you use the hair dryer to basically, like, get the wrinkles out, and it's supposed to help, like, keep the cold air out and keep, like, it more warm in here so then there's not, like, drafts blowing in and stuff like that. Um, it was actually a lot more difficult for us than we had intended it to be, so it took us a little bit longer, but we finally got it up. I'll have to show you guys tomorrow if I remember. Um, but anyways, tomorrow is Thursday, so I have to do, like, I really need to get on top of my homework for the week. I have, like, two projects that I need to get done this week, and I'm really not, like, into my classes this term whatsoever. I have a project to do on Egypt. I think I've mentioned that like a bajillion times this week. I have a project to do about Egypt and uh, that's in one class. Then I have a quiz that I need to take in that class as well. In my other class I have to write um, a discussion post about the purpose and process of job analysis Sorry, I'm looking over here. I have it like hanging up on the wall and I have to take a quiz in that class and then I have a project in that class due as well for this week and that's all due by Sunday night. So I really need to get on the ball because I haven't, like what I just read off to you is all the stuff that I haven't done yet. <sighs> I'm lo losing it. <laughs> but like, I'm in a lot of pain and I'm also like, I've been tired for a while, but I've been, like, talking to people and thinking about stuff. And I just edited and, like, uploaded the vlog that I'm going to be putting up tomorrow. So, yeah, like, I've had a lot of stuff on my mind and just, I don't know, like, the pain that I've been, think like, dealing with is just getting to me and oh I want to show you the hair dye because the the emerald green hair dye came today that I was telling you about either yesterday or the day before so let me see if I can get this light to work really quick so here it is hopefully you can see that well enough this is Splat um, Deep Emerald. If not, I'll try to like insert a picture so you can mm -hmm. see it like with better lighting. But I want to try it like all over my head just to see how it turns out. It probably won't turn out like the greatest, but um, who knows? Something new to try. Um, obviously, it's not like My Little Pony colors like some people. Um, but maybe one day I'll get courageous and try that too. You never know, it's just hair. Like, my hair has been falling out for the longest anyways due to medical issues and stress and all that. So, I really don't care. I could go bald and I really, I wouldn't care anymore. You know, at this point, I don't care. Because, I mean, there's there's been points where I feel like, you know, I'm going to die alone anyways. So, I mean, who do I have to impress? You know, but like, oops, I'm, I don't know, um, but anyways, that's about it for today's vlog, sorry, I was trying to check and see who, uh, who was texting me, Miss Taylor, she's been sending me pictures of her baby, um, I'm going to ask her before I actually put this on the vlog, but if she says okay, then I will show you guys, um, let me see here, let's turn up the brightness so you guys can see, this is her baby, hopefully you can see that, isn't he precious, oh my god, I think he's adorable, but, yeah, stupid iPhone keeps telling me that it wants to update to iOS 
9.0.1. So I guess I'll install it tonight while I'm, I go to sleep. I'm not trying to do it now. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for today's vlog, you guys. I hope you guys had a good day. Um, hopefully I get some good feedback from you guys on whether or not you actually want me to continue you know, posting the vlogs for you guys to see it, or whether you would just be okay with me doing the unlisted vlogs where, you know, I just basically stop posting, um, you know, or I just make it private to myself, because like I said, it seems like people aren't that interested in seeing my vlogs to begin with, it's more like people just want to see the giveaways, which, I mean, I guess, that's what it seems like people are interested in, just getting free stuff. So, I mean, I understand, but I don't know. I feel like it's not really worth it to me to spend all this time filming different stuff and, like, missing out on special moments with certain people, you know, in my own personal life. If, you know, I'm just going to, like, I don't know. I don't know if people if people if I want to miss out on special moments in my own personal life with people to try to get these special moments on camera then I would rather have people watch it you know I don't have, I have no clue if what I just said makes sense, and see, that's how you know my medicine is kicking in, so, that is a signal that I need to get off this camera, so, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and unless you tell me that I just need to shut up and this be my last vlog, so, I will talk to you guys whenever.